Now here we are in lesson one, exercise one. We need to create a true false question and output the following. The capital of the United States is Washington DC. Question mark, answer T or F, meaning true or false. And if the user inputs a T, capital T, then we're going to say they're correct. And if they answer capital F, we're going to say that they're incorrect. So let's first of all, make sure that this works properly. Let me go ahead and run the program. The capital of the United States is Washington DC. That's what we've asked. If we type the letter T and then hit enter, it says correct. If I run the program again and do capital F, it'll say incorrect. So it appears the program's running correctly. First, we have to have our throws Java IO IO exception in front of the opening curly brace of the main method. We have an input character that we've defined, and then we print to the screen the capital of the US is Washington DC. Answer true or false. And then we read the character from the keyboard using system.in.read, converting that input from integer to character and storing it in our variable. And then we have a pair of if statements. If the input, which is what we just stored, is equal to capital T, we've noticed we've enclosed it in single quotations, meaning we're doing a character comparison. If this is true, then we're going to print correct. And if this is false, in other words, if the user input in, inputted a capital F, it's going to uh, print incorrect. So we've already tested it with capital T and capital F. What do you think is going to happen if we input something else? So T and F work. What if I put H on accident, right? Well, nothing happens. The program is done. It's finished executing. What happened is we've, in, we've captured the input. This if statement did not evaluate true, so nothing got printed. This if statement did not evaluate true, so nothing got printed, and then the thing just terminates. Notice also that this is kind of a little bit of a dumb program because um, notice it works fine if I put capital T, but what if I put lowercase t? We would expect that that should probably work, but in fact nothing happens. No message is printed because of the same thing. Here we're doing a comparison for capital T only. So if you wanted to make this more robust, you could put um, uh, an or statement or some other modification inside of the if here to have it look to see if it was a capital or a lowercase t. That's what you would have to do in real life. You know, you, you really got to get in the habit when you're programming of, ca of, of looking at every possible thing a user might do. Even though I put capital T, capital F, a lot of people are just going to do lowercase and you're going to have to cover that. So there are many ways that you might organize your program, but this is the most basic essential way that you can get the job done uh, to solve lesson one, exercise one here with keyboard input in Java.